Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from the Gambia in West Africa. Yesterday I was traveling inland uh, to the center of the country, North Bank, Farafeni is known as. It was so hot. It was 40 degrees in the sun. Unbelievable. And it was so hot that during the night I, I was sweating all, all, all during the night. It's not easy, and uh, now that it is Ramadan, everyone is fasting also, so <laughs> it makes makes things more difficult. So, when it comes to the Tijani teaching, follow only one sheikh, what does this mean, and so on. I made a video about this, then there are some people who might be Tijani affiliated, who started debating and started, you know, uh, these kinds of things uh, rem remind you if you are a Sufi if if you follow Tariqa always keep good manners manners is or or character is what is going to decide your life basically your your life is a consequence of your character if you have the best character you can reach the highest state in life but if you are someone who all the time go for fitna look for fitna outside of a uh, content creation because sometimes when we create you know social media content we have to go into the drama of the world because that's interesting it's a little bit of show it's a little bit of news that's separate but if you're someone who really enjoys the the fitna and are wish harm to other people you're not gonna get anywhere okay so if you're a sufi stay away from the fitna don't be overconfident with your uh misunderstanding someone might give you a teaching that you don't understand and then you start arguing and creating fitna don't do that try to listen instead it's better okay so when it comes to this um tijani tarika or uh, you know follow only one sheikh so i i think that we have to understand what tarika is because tarika is uh what you would call in western uh, society mysticism we say it is the study of ihsan so you have islam iman ihsan these three are roughly equivalent to religion spirituality and mysticism now religion islam the, the general sort of formula for all people juma prayers your five daily prayers ramadan for most people that is enough most people don't need more than that they just have busy lives and they want to go to the masjid sometime and pray. They have busy lives. Sometimes they want to do their salat and so on. That's enough for most people. Then you have the level of iman. And there you start doing the zikr. Like, like, um, like it says in, uh, in, in, in uh, the, the Quran, chapter 13, verse 28. Verily in the zikr of Allah, uh, hearts find rest. Then you have the ihsan, which is... The level of mysticism, which comes from the Greek word mustas, which means initiate uh, or, or, you know, some, some kind of the path of the initiates. Same as esoteric knowledge. Uh, that is something known only by a few people. So when you deal with ihsan or mysticism or esoteric knowledge, which is the matter of initiation, then you have to have a sheikh, you have to be initiated by an authentic sheikh into that particular mystical order. So within this initiation, you will be given a very specific wird, a very specific zikr, you can say mantra, that you cite particular amount of times, particular times in the day, that every initiate every murid in that particular mystical order sites now this specific uh, zikir is only for that particular order so the tijani weird is only for tijani people the tijani weird lazim wasif and so on it is not for other tariqa so naqshbandi should not cite the tijani weird qadiriya should not cite the tijani weird and a tijani should also not cite the naqshbandi weird and Tijani should not cite a Qadiri, or we, not, not the specific ones that are specific for that particular mystical order or tariqa. Then you have general wird. So you have, or a zikr. You have two types of zikr. You have the general zikr and the specific zikr. The general zikr is usually for 
iman or, or increase your faith. For example, you do Ya Latif, you do Hasbun Allahu, or you do uh, La ilaha illallah, or you do Astaghfirullah, or, or these kinds of things. You might cite a Qasaid, or, 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 or these kinds of things, right? For example, the Murid uh, from uh, Setting Tuba, they have a lot of these, uh, you know, different, you know, Qasaids and so on. This is more on the level of Iman or, or spirituality. It's, it's to make you spiritual, boost your faith, make you, you know, feel good inside Tumanina, like we say, the, the, the highest level of Iman, Tumanina, that your heart is at rest. Like the Quran says, verily in the Zikr of Allah, your hearts find rest. Cite as many general Zikr as you want, as many as you want. Cite from day to night if you want, as many as you want. The specific Zikr, that is only for particular paths because they deal with certain mystical energies. So the Tijani with is for Tijani only, Naqshbandi with for Naqshbandi only and so on. Okay. So this is what it means. Follow only one check. You cannot mix words. You cannot mix the specific Zikr that is only for that uh, Tariqa. You have to keep the one that you have and the other ones, they do theirs. Okay. That, that this is what it means. So I clarify this with the Sheikh. So, um, separate these two uh, and um, when it comes to knowledge you have to study every tijani has to study study as much knowledge as you can study the history of islam study prophet sallam fiqh you know uh, tawhid wh whatever you want to study the different sheikhs different tariqa as much as you want knowledge is mandatory for a muslim like Say sayyidina ibrahim niyas radiallahu anhu said in ruhul adab Knowledge is mandatory for a Muslim. It is forbidden for a Muslim to remain in ignorance. So study and learn. But the specific word of the tariqah is only for the tariqah. I hope uh, this has uh, uh, clarified things. If not, uh, please, inshallah, leave a comment. Assalamu alaikum.